Hey, what's going on my friends out there? Welcome to Gamers with Games. So some interesting news to kind of discuss today. We got a brand new screenshot from Kingdom Hearts 2.8 that was dropped by Tetsuya Nomura on the Kingdom Hearts Japanese Twitter account. Now I'm gonna put it right here on the screen so you guys can see it, so you guys can know exactly what I'm talking about. I have it here on my actual computer where I can refer to when I talk about some of the different things we see in this screenshot. Now, this is because of the Kingdom Hearts 14th anniversary of the series. The game is, the series has been around for about 14 years ever since it first dropped on the PlayStation. PlayStation 2. I still remember when I first picked up this game way, 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 way back then on my PlayStation 2, the original Kingdom Hearts. And again, I fell in love with the series ever since then. I loved all the hours that I've messed with that I've actually played these uh, the different games that are part of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. But because of this, Tetsuya Nomura decided to drop us a brand new screenshot from the development of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8. Now, this is an actual screenshot of what's called Daybreak Town. Daybreak Town is also another town that appears in Kingdom Hearts Key. It's kind of like the main hub area that that everybody goes to where you have all these different keyblade wielders that are running around all over the place now in this screenshot again i'm looking at it over here you guys should be able to see it on the screen now this actual screenshot shows daybreak town and it looks good with the new kingdom hearts shader or the kingdom shader that's going to be used for kingdom hearts 3 but one of the things that i see about this screenshot is that it looks kind of grim in tone if you really look at it to me whenever i think of daybreak town and I, all the other stuff that i've seen throughout all the promotional material and some of the footage of kingdom hearts key daybreak town always looks very bright looks very vibrant it looks like you're if you're in the morning it's, it's called daybreak town if you're in the morning there's gonna be a lot of sun there's gonna be a lot of bright colors all over the place this looks like a very grim daybreak town now this could be for a number of different reasons again it's just a screenshot of something in development and a lot of the stuff in here can change maybe they'll like brighten it up or something but also maybe this is actually indicative of something for kingdom hearts hd 2.8 maybe there's some stuff going down in kingdom hearts uh, hd 2.8 over at daybreak town that we actually have to solve and we actually have to help out a bunch of people that are in daybreak town maybe the heartless or even the unversed or something is kind of like you know bring some sort of great evil to daybreak town and right now it looks just super grim kind of like in the same vein that hollow bastion looked before it became radiant garden in kingdom hearts 2. Now again, this is just speculation right now, going off a random screenshot that Tetsuya Nomura decided to drop, but it is very cool that we finally got something more interesting to talk about after this deficit of news and deficit of promotional material for the Kingdom Hearts series, especially Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8, as well as also Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe sometime soon, because I know the Undercovered uh, Final Fantasy 15 event is happening very soon. This week, actually, when I'm recording this vlog, it happens on Wednesday. Maybe we'll get some sort of surprise about Kingdom Hearts 3 that we can actually kind of, like, again, speculate more about, actually discuss any sort of news pieces about. Now, while that event might strictly be about Final Fantasy 15, I would be very surprised if uh, Square Enix doesn't allude or maybe hint at some stuff about Kingdom Hearts, especially since that's its other biggest game besides... Final Fantasy 15 and Final Fantasy 7 Remake. That's going to be coming out hopefully within the next like year or so. But either way, guys, that's the screenshot. That's my opinions on the actual new stuff that uh, Nemour is dropping for us. Again, 14 years of Kingdom Hearts series is pretty awesome. And again, hopefully we get a bunch more actual cool games and a lot of cool moments and a lot of cool special times for the series going into the future. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about this actual screenshot. If you guys think it looks pretty cool, if you think it looks bad, if you think there's actually some stuff going down at Daybreak Town, tell me about it in the comments section. Don't forget to leave a like in this video, subscribe to the Gamers with Games channel for all my videos related to gaming, stronger living, health, motivation, all types of stuff. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at MenomousBatman1 and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I am streaming every single weekday on Twitch, 7pm uh, Eastern Standard Time. It's Gamers with Games on Twitch. Just search for me on there, hit the follow button on the channel, come join the streams. I'm always playing a bunch of different games. I'm usually playing a lot with the people that are on the stream. Again, we have one stream that's long ago we had about 40 people just hanging out while i was playing pokemon tournament playing a bunch of matches against people that were joining up in the stream chat being part of the chat fam it was a lot a lot a lot of fun so i encourage you guys to come check it out i invite everybody to come join up with chat fam during then so anyway guys i will talk to you all again very soon peace out stay epic everybody